Good day, ladies and gents. We're going to be continuing Unit 11 EOC review. We're doing Unit 5 quadrilaterals, so definitely make sure that you have your Hot Topics pages. We are going to be working on page uh, 14, 16, and if we have time, we'll do 13 and 15 as well. All right, let's do it. Okay, so starting on page 14, here we go. Uh, okay, the sum of the measures of an interior angles of an n-gon can be found in what formula? All right, so uh, so here are all the formulas. So uh, the sum of the measures of interior of an n-gon. So the sum of all the measures, that would be um, n minus 2 times 180 degrees, right? All right, that's the sum of all the measures. Okay, and then the sum of the exterior angles is just straight up 360. So, uh, okay, next, number one. Okay, so we have all these. Now, uh, so basically, you ask yourself, um, are we talking about interior or exterior angles? Are they the sum or regular? Where regular means that they are all the same sides and all the same angles. And then you write down whichever equation you're talking about. You plug in either the angle or the number of sides, and then you solve. And remember, regular means all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. So here are all the, all those. Okay, so um, are these interior exterior angles? So they're interior angles. So that narrowed it down between these right here. And the next question would be, is it the sum or regular? So if it's, are all these the same? No, so it's not regular. So we're going to be using the sum of interior, which equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all these and add them up together. So I'll start here. And what I'm doing is I'm going to add up all of these angles. So I'm going to add up all the x's first. So no, 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 that's a 1x. That's another 1x. So that's 2x's. So 2x plus. And then with my calculator, I'm going to add these together. So I have 95 plus 120. Let me try that again. 95 plus 120 plus 125 plus nothing plus 84 plus 120. And I get 2, uh, sorry, I get 544 four is equal to N. Now, how many sides does this have or angles? So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 angles or 6 sides, same thing. So I would do 6 minus 2 equals and then times 180 degrees. And I get 720. All right, and now you just solve. You just solve like normal. So uh, you would solve like normal, and then you would plug in to figure out what, whatever you need. All right, awesome. So it's your job to finish that up. Okay, this one, same idea. You just rinse and repeat. So sum of the interior equals n minus 2 times 180. All right, so you, I'll start here. I'll go in a circle. I have 1x, and then that's a second x and no other. So you got 2x, and then you got 106. 5, nothing, 135, and a 94, and a mix, uh, 340. So add 340 is equal to how many sides you have? You have 5. So 5 minus 2, and you multiply by 180, and you get 540. And then you would keep solving. So dot, 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 keep solving, dot, dot, dot. So that's your job. So you would find what X is, and you would plug in to figure out what your final answer is. Okay, uh, number 4. I love these problems. All right, see how uh, we're just going to keep finding everything? First of all, we know a straight line, a rainbow of a straight line adds up to 180 degrees. So if I take, um, I know that both of these together, so y plus 92 is equal to 180 degrees. So 180, if I subtract the 92, I get 88. And make sure you put it in the picture so it makes more sense. All right, and then on top of that, we know that all three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, right? So 180, if you subtract the 88 and the 50, what are you left with? And that would be X, and you would get that answer. All right, okay, and then over here, you just keep finding stuff until you can't anymore. Okay, so here's a straight line, right? So if I take, uh, if I take 180 and I subtract the 70, I'd be left with 110. So this is 110 right there. And then same thing here. These two add up to 180 degrees. So 180, subtract that 78, we get 102. 
Okay, and then I know that all four of these, now look, that's, that's the sum of interior, right? Equals um, n minus 2 times 180. So all these added together, we get, uh, so 110 plus that 90 plus that 78 plus z is equal to those four sides added uh, 4 minus 2 times 180, you get 360. So I know that all, all these on the inside here add up to 360 degrees. And then you would solve for z and you would get that answer. All right, uh, right here. The sum of all exterior angles, sorry, the sum of all interior angles of regular, regular polygon are 1080. Okay, what is the, uh, the measure of all of its exterior angles? All right, so let's think this. Sum of all the interior equals n minus 2 times 180, right? And they told us that the sum would be 1080. So what would n have to be? So a couple of things you could do. You could just keep plugging in random numbers in for n until you get this number. Or you could actually solve for n, whichever one floats your boat. So let's see if um, we can, now we don't like parentheses, right? So you could distribute this. We get 1080. You distribute here, you get 180n, and you get minus 360. Okay, so 1080, if I add 360 to both sides, I get 1440 equals 180n, divide by 180, and you pop out with 8. Or you could just keep plugging numbers randomly in for n to see what you get. So if I did like 10 minus 2, multiply by 180, uh, 10 didn't work. So n equals 10, I would get 1440. If I get n equals 9, okay, so let's see. So 9 minus 2, and then multiply by 180. I get 1260. I'm trying to get to 1080. So I'm just plugging numbers in until it works. So 8 minus 2 times 180, and I pop out with 1080. Ah, that's the one I wanted, right? So n equals that. All right, so, but we still didn't answer the question yet. We got n is equal to 8, but they wanted the measure of an exterior angle, single, one exterior angle, just one, right? So regular exterior is equal to 360 over n. So that would be 360 over 8. So put that in the calculator, 360 divided by 8, and we pop out with 45 degrees. So, and that's just one way of multiple ways how to do this. So you do what floats your boat. Okay, let's go to page 16. All right, so moving on to page 16 here, we get this. All right, so um, first thing you want to do is graph it. So we have A is at negative 1, positive 4. That's my A. And we have negative 3, negative 4. That's my C. And we have a square where it is um, A, B, C, D, right? So, so A and C are, sorry for my bad drawing there, because it's supposed to be a square, right? So A and C are, are diagonals to each other. So if these are diagonals to each other, right there. So we have A to C. Now A, uh, B to D needs to be this right here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the middle of this. So um, I can add them together, divide by 2, or I can just look at this. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So this is the middle. So there's my center. Okay, and then if you just look at this, we're trying to make a square, right? So you see how this is a 1 by 4? So you have to do the, uh, it's not 1 by 4 here. It's going to be 1 by 4 this way. So 1 by 1, 2, 3, 4. See that? So we want something perpendicular. So if we had a 1 by 4, it would have to be a negative 4 by 1 kind of thing. So, and then same thing here. Uh, so boom, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there, so those would be the other two coordinates. And they can be vice versa. It could be... Uh, 
uh, this is B and this is D or vice versa. And if you look at this, um, if we connect the dots here, Do, 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 do. Yep, that looks like a square. So where are those coordinates? We have uh, B is at 2, negative 1, and D is at negative 6, positive 1, or vice versa. Um, uh, you can have your B and D backwards. It still works. Okay, sweet. And then number 2. All right, so number 2 here. Um, so if this does not make sense to you, like these letters, just change them into numbers and you'll still be set. All right, so here we go. So I'm just going to change this into actual numbers just to make sense to me. This is 1, 2, 3. So that's 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 3, comma, 5, right? So I know that Z equals 3 and Y equals 5. All right, and then where would X be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8. And uh, so my X equals 8. All right, so then where's C? All right, so C is at 8, 9, 10, 11. So if my C is at 11, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 11, comma, 5, right? Now, um, for my X, see how it was the first number? I can only use 8, uh, I can only use my 8 and my 3. So that's 8 plus 3, right? So that's the same thing as saying X plus Z. And then my 5 is y. So 5 would the same thing be as y. So which one works? So all I did was use numbers and then replace them back with the letters. So let's see. So it's definitely not a. Let's see. Y has to be the second letter. Um, so it's definitely not this one. So see how the y is still the same thing here? And then it's x plus z. So that would be the answer is c. So if it doesn't make sense to you, um, with the letters, change it to numbers and to just replace it back again. All right, now number three. All right, so number three, use the distance formula uh, and or the slope formula to help you determine the classification of this. All right, so let's think about this. So what is this? So the best thing you can do is actually look at, just look at it. Um, and so right off the right off the um, Right off the beginning, I know that this is not a rectangle and it's not a square, right? Because you see how that's not 90 degrees? All right, now check out the side lengths. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's a distance of 4. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, that's a distance of 4. And now this over here, I can't to do diagonally, I have to do the Pythagorean theorem. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1. So 4 squared plus 1 squared, that is 16 plus plus one, so that's 17. So we got the square root of 17. So it's the square root of 17, and this is also the square root of 17. So we have a four by square root of 17. So um, now all three sides are equal, so this is definitely not a rhombus. So the only thing it could be was a rectangle knocked over, which is a parallelogram. That's the only thing that works, right? So parallelogram is the only thing that works because basically it's a knocked over rectangle. All right, over here. Okay, so we have um, anytime there's a zero in the coordinate, make sure you put X, Y there. So you see how the number's with the X? That means it's on the X axis. So that's a negative four here. One, two, three, four. That's by A. X, Y, this is the numbers with the Y, so it's on the Y axis, so 1, 2, 3, there's my B, and then we're at 3, negative 1, there's my C, so then D would have to be somewhere over here, right, to go in a circle. So the other one has to go here. So whatever pattern you get from B to A is the same thing for this pattern, or vice versa. So these patterns have to be the same, or these patterns have to be the same. So whichever one you choose. So I'm gonna go from B to A, same thing here. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, and to the left, one, two, three, four. So down one, two, three, and to the left, four. One, two, three, four. And I landed right here. Okay, so go down one, two, three, 
and to left four. Down three, left four. So whatever pattern that was. And that would be my D. All right, and then what coordinate is that? Blank, comma, blank, write that right there. Okay, so that would be your job right there. Just write down that coordinate. All right, and number five. All right, let's plot these points. We have negative five, comma, positive one. There's my Q. Negative one, negative two. There's my R. Negative one, negative seven. There's my S. And then negative five, one, two, three, four, five. Negative four, right there. And that is my T. All right. I hope I did everything right. Mm, when do you feel like you did something wrong? Let's see. Um, negative one, negative two, negative five. Oop, right here, right here. There's my, there's my error. So I went. It was supposed to be negative five, positive one. I did negative seven, so it's supposed to be here. There we go. There's my cube. All right. So here's the picture. Sorry about that. Little typo right there. Okay, so just looking at this picture, um, I can tell right off the bat that this is not going to be a rectangle or a square because th those are definitely not 90 degrees. Okay, so let's just find all those distances. All right, so this distance right here, um, that is one, two, three, four, five. So um, just to help you refocus here. All right, so this is five. This is also five. Okay, now what about these distances? That's one, two, three, four by one, two, three. That's a four by three. All right, so four squared plus three squared. I get 16 and nine, which is 25. The square 25, which, ooh, that's pretty. That's the number five. So this is actually five. And this is actually five. And you, if you didn't feel comfortable with that, you could use a scrap sheet of paper as well. Um, and just measure the distances here so I can measure that distance and then look at that that's the exact same distance all right so we got a five by five by five right so that would be a square but it's not right angle so it knocked over so that is a knocked over square which a better name for that would be rhombus and then uh, parallelogram doesn't didn't didn't work out oh gram <laughs> didn't work out so rhombus would be the best answer excellent all right, and uh, all right, so we still have some time, so let's go ahead and do 14. Okay, so we're doing 14. Did I already do that? Do, 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 do. What are we working on? Um, I guess I already did 14 for you. That's awesome. Okay, and then. All right, so we're on 15. Let's do 15. Okay, sweet. All right, so we're on page 15 because we have some time left. All right, here we go. So, um, so triangle um, similarity. Am I on the right thing? 17. Nope, wrong page. I love it when this happens. <laughs> okay, we are on page 13. Where's 13? Well, I totally misplaced it. Ah, there it is. Here's on page 13. Sorry for that. Wasted time right there. All right, so we're on number 13. So page 13. Okay, so right here, what we're going to do is, uh, so all three of those, all three angles add up to 180 degrees. So just do that. So um, we have basically angle A, angle B, and angle C add up to 180 degrees, and you just solve for X. So um, I'll just give you, get you started right there. Okay, and then the next one, so that's, that's all you guys. Okay, this one right here. Let's see here. Let's think this through. Um, okay, so for this one, there's a couple different ways how you could do it. Uh, now, one thing is these two angles add up to the outside of the third. Or if you still didn't feel comfortable with that, which that's probably the best way to do that, this minus 180 degrees would give you that thing in there. So whichever one floats. So I think the best way to do this is um, P plus Q equals the outside of R. So um, that's the exterior angles. So the exterior angles theorem. All right, so uh, 33 
plus 10x plus 1 equals 7x minus 1. And then you would just solve, right? So the two insides equal the outside of the third. Okay, and then once you solve for x, you would have to plug it in. You would find that this is 33. You'd find this angle. You'd find the outside of this angle. And then uh, whatever this is, subtract from 180 to get the inside of there. And make sure you find what they're looking for. This is asking for q, which there's no confusion of that one. And this one's asking for r. So they want p, r, q. So do they want the inside or outside of r? So when I go P, R, Q, they want the inside. So make sure you find the inside of that. All right, number three. All right, so at number three, okay, this is 90. And then um, I know that these two angles are equal. So uh, this is also 5X plus 2 right there. All right, so 90 plus 43 plus 5X plus 2. So those three angles add up to 180, right? All right, so let's actually do this one. Okay, so we have 5X. We have 90, 43, and 2. We get 135 is equal to 180. Okay, and then we get uh, 180, subtract 135. We get 5x is equal to 45. And then we divide by 5, and we get x is equal to 9. All right, so we have x is equal to 9, plug that thing in. Another way to find this, if that was 90 and this is 43, this so uh, 180, subtract the 90, subtract the 43. The other way to do this was like, oh, this is 47, right? This angle is 47. This angle is also uh, 5x plus 2. So if they're the same angle, you would set them equal. So that was another way, and you would still get x equals 9. So those were two different ways how to find that one. All right, so we know now that this is 9, we get that 5 times 9 plus that 2. We get that this angle right here is 47. Uh, 180 subtract that 60 and that 47 would make that this angle has to be 73. All right, so this angle is uh, 3y plus 1. This angle is also 73. If they are the same angle, set them equal, and you would solve. So solve that, and you would find what y is. Okay, over here, just keep faking it until you make it. Okay, I know that both of these are going to add up to 90, right? So 90, if I subtract 53, this angle will have to be 37. All right, let's see what else we can do. All right, see these three angles? They also add up to 90, right? Or 180 degrees. So they have to add up to 180 degrees. So if we have 180, if we subtract the 49 and the 71, we get that this is, has to be 60. Let's see. See how uh, these two are vertical to each other? If that's 60, this would be 60. Let's see. Oh, there's another triangle right here. So 180, if we subtract the 53 and subtract the 60, this would be 67. What else can we do? Um, okay, here's the thing. Do you see this big triangle right here? Right there. So this entire angle was 90. This angle right here was 67. And then... Um, this angle right here would just be angle D. So what would angle D be? So 180, subtract the 90, subtract the 67, and this would have to be 23 degrees. So this right here is 23. And, okay, and then we have this triangle right here. That makes 180 degrees. So 180, if we subtract the 23 and we subtract the 37, this angle right here would have to be 120. Another way to do that was, hey, this has to make a straight line, right? So these would have to make up 180 degrees. And we find all the angles. Boom. You just keep finding stuff until you run out. And this is the same idea. So this is 90. If this is 59, you can find this missing angle. Uh, this makes 180 degrees a straight line, right? So you can find that angle. And then you can all three of those angles have to add up to 180. Sweet. Right, so that was page 13, and last one, page 15. All right, so page 15, uh, let's see, what kind of shapes are those? So you should be able to name every single one of those. Um, uh, are these parallelograms, yes or no? Parallelograms mean that the opposite sides are equal. Um, uh, let's see, the opposite sides are parallel. 
So which ones are not parallelograms? Well, this is not a parallelogram because, see, I only have one set of sides parallel. These two sides are not parallel. And this one as well is not a parallelogram because um, uh, this right here is not parallel to this. So those are the two bad ones, right? And then they also gave you a list of all the things that work, um, that the names that we, we can use. All right, over here. Okay, so um, let's see. We can use that this is a trapezoid, right? So we know that um, these two are equal, those two are equal. You can figure out all the angles. Um, and then these two add up to 180 degrees. That's nice. Okay, this right here. So I know that this and this are equal, right? So m plus 12 is equal to 3m. So you plug that in. Uh, so subtract m from both sides. You get 12 is equal to 2m. So there's an invisible run right there. And then you get m is equal to 6. And you would plug it back in. And then you could be able to find all those sides. Uh, number 4. Let's see. Uh, oh, I love this. So just fake it till you make it, right? Um, so this one right here. If that's 52... Now, do you see this big old triangle right there? So that big old triangle. Now, uh, now this, a couple different ways we can do this. So that big old triangle, this side's equal to that side, right? So that the turnus, our elbows are equal. So if this is 52 here, this would have to be 52 here as well. So that's nice. So this would have to be 52. Um, on top of that, I know that this is a rhombus. So on a rhombus, so all those rules for a rhombus, if I have this angle, I actually have all four of those angles. So this and this are also equal. And what else do we know? Um, we also know on a rhombus that the center letter are uh, the center angles are on 90 degrees. All these are 90. And then you can find the missing angle right there. So um, those have to add up to 180 degrees right inside of here. So we would get that this would have to be 38, and all these have to be 38. And then you should be able to, um, uh, 38. So all those are 38, and then you should be able to figure out what all those angles are. Okay, and over here, okay, for this, um, basically, the median, right? So this thing, so the top and the bottom add together, divide by 2 is equal to the middle. So... Basically, 2x minus 4 plus the bottom, 3x plus 2, all over 2 is equal to your middle, which is 2x plus 4. Okay, now, if we put that together, this would be, uh, that's 5x, and then minus 2, all over 2, is equal to 2x plus 4. And we don't like that 2, so we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction part. We're left with 5x minus 2 is equal to, we can distribute that, that is 4x and then plus 8. And then you would just keep solving. Um, you would just keep solving and then you would plug it back in to figure out what those numbers are. And other than that, that's it. Um, all right, have a great and wonderful day, guys.